The pandemic has been a particularly anxious time for expectant mothers globally. When the first COVID cases spiked in 2020, it was a new virus and little was known about its impacts on pregnancy. Nearly two years into the pandemic, research has found pregnant women with COVID-19 are at a higher risk of hospitalisation and severe disease. But still, vaccine uptake among expectant mothers has been lower than other groups. I think the biggest thing was the vaccine. Trying to make that decision whether or not to get vaccinated was quite a big aspect early on. There wasn't any clear message directed to pregnant women. Um, we were just kind of lumped in with everybody else when actually it is a bit more of a concern and that there is other factors in there. I still don't think it's really clear enough. Um, I'm still breastfeeding, so there's even still some confusion, still really. At the start of this pandemic, we didn't know and we didn't even think that this uh, infection was worse in pregnant women than anybody else. And of course, when the vaccine came out first, we had no experience of, of its use in pregnancy. Misinformation is spreading like wildfire on the internet. People are reading things on a variety of different platforms that are making them question the safety of the vaccine. There have been many rumours that the vaccine triggers miscarriages. Medical professionals saying things to pregnant women that are accurate and untrue and are making them question the safety of the vaccine. I think I got symptoms on, I think it was the 26th or 27th of December last year. So I was 34, 35 weeks pregnant. I felt really quite bad, actually. I just slept and slept and slept and slept. It's really hard because you're pretty tired at that stage of pregnancy anyway. People were basically saying, oh, there's no higher risk to you if you're pregnant. And I text my midwife to say, you know, I've just had a positive result. Is there anything I should do? I'm, I'm a little bit worried. With the knowledge she probably had at the time, just told me to make sure I stayed hydrated. And, and there was no further check-in, really. I was nervous originally to get it just because it was so new and there wasn't any sort of any of that long-term research. I actually tried to phone my midwife team to ask their advice, but I never heard back from them. So I wasn't able to get any advice from them about whether or not I should have it. The JCVI advised those expecting were initially better to avoid the vaccine, unless they were at high risk of serious illness. This advice changed as new evidence emerged, and in April 2021, all pregnant women were offered the vaccine. When the vaccine came out, we had really hoped that that would have been tested on pregnant women so that they could access it, but it wasn't. The drug companies didn't include pregnant women in the testing. There's been very little communication about how the vaccine works in pregnancy. That's really put pressure on pregnant women to make this really massive decision about whether they get vaccinated without the facts. I ended up getting it, made that decision, and then when I went in to get it, they asked so insistently, are you happy to have it? Have you read this information? Were giving me pamphlets. I had to wait longer to see a doctor before they would actually give me the vaccine. I then was like second guessing my decision. Like, well, should I be getting this if you're questioning my decision to get it so much? More than 80,000 pregnant women in England have received at least one dose of the vaccine. Now, a year after the vaccine was rolled out, expectant mothers have finally been made a priority group. We've accumulated a huge number of pregnant women now who've had these vaccines in pregnancy. And, you know, over 300,000 women in the United States and the United Kingdom alone. And of all of those women, no sign, no red flags, no significant health concerns for mother or baby. My main concern was if I have the vaccine and it makes me really poorly, how am I going to look after my baby? How am I going to feed my baby? I think I just weighed up that actually having the vaccine was the right thing for me. Um, but I don't think that there is enough information. For me, the potential risk of catching COVID while you're pregnant massively outweighs any slight risk that might come with having the vaccination. Pregnant women do not fare well with respiratory diseases. You can imagine the baby and the womb, the uterus are getting bigger and squashing the lungs. So it's more difficult to take a deep breath and fill your lungs and empty your lungs completely, especially towards the end of pregnancy. 
The severity of the illness in pregnant women appears to have become worse. 24% of women admitted in the first wave had moderate or severe disease, compared with 36% with the Alpha variant and 45% with the Delta variant. If a, a pregnant woman gets this COVID virus, uh, that she is twice as likely, compared to a, a woman who's not pregnant of the same age, twice as likely to be admitted to hospital, uh, to be admitted to intensive care, uh, to be ventilated, to go on an ECMO machine, that's a, a machine that does the breathing for you in place of your lungs, um, or, or indeed to die. We know that 13 pregnant women lost their lives between July and September this year, and 85% of them were unvaccinated. We know from studies over the last uh, year that if a mother gets this uh, virus during pregnancy, that the risk of stillbirth is, is doubled. Now, that thankfully, that's from a very low baseline rate, but still obviously a major concern. But apart from that, the virus does not seem to cause any significant problems with the babies. I feel like pregnant women and new mothers during the pandemic have been bottom of the priority list and, and their children. Of course, women should, pregnant women should have been a priority group. They are for most other things. It just, it just feels like, again, it was a circumstance where pregnant women and, 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 and mothers were forgotten about. The government should be very concerned about the number of pregnant women that are vaccinated. And I think amongst pregnant women, there is still a very high proportion who don't believe this vaccine is safe for them or their baby. I think even at that time, we should have been put in the vulnerable group because you are so much more likely to pick stuff up. Your immune system's lowered when you're pregnant, you know, and I think if that had happened, then there might have been a bigger take up if it'd been shown early on. Targeted advice at pregnant people would have been the best thing. I think we just hadn't been thought about. So all the advice was so general for everybody, but actually, you're in a very sort of unique position and there wasn't anything guided towards us at all. We need to see videos, we need to see leaflets, we need to see information being pushed that shows this vaccine is safe in pregnancy and why it is safe. Because you can't just tell people to go and get a vaccine when they're pregnant, you need to give them the reasons why and show them the medical evidence that it is safe and effective. <laughs>